the Space Coast Daily here live at the setup of the uh, 27th Annual Space Coast State Fair. I'm here with one of the most favorite uh, performers here ever in Brevard County. This is the lovely, uh, the brilliant uh, Carla Walenda. Carla, welcome back to Brevard County. Oh, pleasure to be back. I'm real thrilled. And I know you were with us last November and you thrilled uh, the packed audiences last year. Uh, what have you been doing uh, over the last 12 months to say so uh, young? Well, we toured all over Michigan all summer long, working fairs and festivals all over there. And uh, the last fair that I worked was in Indiana. Okay. Now tell us, you know, tell the viewers of Space Coast Daily some of the things that you do in your life to stay so young and vibrant. Well, for one thing, when I'm not performing, uh, my husband puts a 70-foot pole up in the backyard, and I try at least five days a week going up and down the pole, even if I don't do the whole routine of climbing this. You know, it keeps up your muscle and all of that. Fascinating. So after all these years of performing, you still practice five days a week, staying, uh, oh, staying yes. active? Oh, yes. You have to. Otherwise, especially when you get older, you have to keep it up. You don't use it, you lose it, you know. Okay. And tell us some of the things that you're... Any special diet that you choose, or how do you, how do you maintain your diet? Well, mostly I do my own cooking, and I'm very conscious of what I cook. I always try to have green vegetable and a yellow or red vegetable, my starch and my protein. I use olive oil mostly to cook with. Okay. Anything, do you indulge with anything, Carlos? What's your favorite treat? Oh, I get into like cream pies and things like that. I gotta watch it though because the middle might get too big. <laughs> <laughs> well, wonderful. I know you're here back again now. You're currently assembling this pole, this 125 foot pole. And I know that some of that pole is from the 1940s, isn't it? Tell us about the pole here. Yeah, these bottom three sections here were built in the 40s. And they were brought by Henrietta Moore on it. And she got killed in 1963. And then in 64, I started doing it. Of course, the part up on the top that bends back and forth, that we have changed often because, uh, you know, it'll get metal fatigue. Right, right. I know you'll be performing uh, two or three times a day here at the Space Coast State Fair for the people, and you're setting up now. And you're going to be the special guest of honor uh, tomorrow night at Dr. Potomsky's uh, long-term care symposium at the Hilton. I know you're going to be inspiring a lot of those older folks. So uh, do you have any special message out there that you'd like to tell people who are maybe older how do you uh, how do you stay so young what message do you have well don't think old just keep on trying to do not only I mean, not everybody has a hundred foot pole in their backyard but go places walk you know if there's any sports get into that and retirees do volunteer work then, because I know a lot of people that have retired from working and then they just get down into a rut and I don't do that. Just keep thinking young and keep going. Well, I gotta ask you the question, Carly. You know, I asked you last year. You're 78 this February. You'll be climbing this 125 foot pole several times a day for the audiences here without any guy wires or safety ropes. How many more years are you gonna be doing this, Carla? Well, hopefully I'll be able to, let's see, a hundred maybe? <laughs> I doubt that, but I keep on going so long as I feel I can do it. Now I've asked my husband to get, because the climbing up is the hardest part, and I've asked my husband to get me a winch and pull me up, but he says no, he won't do that. He wants to make sure I have the strength to hang on once I'm up there. Right. So, so long as I can make it up there and feel okay, I'm going to keep on doing it. I love it. Well, Carla, you keep on doing it. You're a great inspiration. We want to thank you so much for coming back here down to Brevard County, and you're going to be uh, thrilling the audiences again. I can barely watch myself. It's such a treasure, a national treasure, and we thank you for coming. Thank you.